Hey everyone! So it is a rainy day in Tokyo and this is our view outside. My camera won't even focus past the raindrops. But um, we decided to come back to the hotel for just a little break. And sorry, I'm turning my back to you. But um, we are watching sumo right now. And it's really cool because um, we saw online on this um, sumo channel. There's this guy that lives in Japan and he does like sumo recaps on YouTube and stuff like that. So we've been watching all of his recaps and he's like a um, foreigner living in Japan. And he said that a lot of the TVs in Japan actually have like an English button. So we found the button on our remote control and now there is um, like English uh, captions or like English narration on our TV of the sumo matches. So that's a lot easier for us to understand of course. So on our Japanese remote I just started playing with the buttons and the English button was actually this one up top here and basically I pressed it once and it showed like a little one on the screen and nothing really happened and then I pressed it again and it showed two and then the English subtitle started. Now we're just gonna take a little break from the rain today. Let me turn this down now. So today basically all we did was um, go for a lunch. We went to this really good place that serves sardines. They serve sardines four ways. You can get them sashimi style. You can also get them uh, deep fried. You can get them simmered in like this soy sauce. And you can also get them in like an eggy casserole. So I got them deep fried and my hubby tried the eggy casserole and I thought everything was so delicious. My hubby was okay about it. He thought it was good, but nothing too exciting. This restaurant is actually a Michelin one-star restaurant but it's probably the cheapest one star you'll find anywhere so my lunch cost eight dollars and my hubby's lunch cost nine dollars for that we just went shopping in the area we were near um, Shinjuku station so there is a big department store there and we went shopping there and we also went to this bookstore where they sell this thing called ebooks and it was really interesting because the ebooks are basically part book part magazine really they're either like a thick magazine or maybe like a shopping catalog or something like that but what's special about them is they come with a free gift and it's it's not really a gift because you're paying a lot for the magazine but it's like a little freebie that comes if you supposedly buy the um, book slash magazine. So some of the ebooks there had like little samples out of the free gifts and the gifts seem to be decent quality so I'm just gonna show you guys the three that I picked up and my hubby actually picked up two for himself. So here is the bookstore that my hubby and I went to. It's called Kinokuniya Books and really neat. They have paper shopping bags but because it's raining they have this insert or this like bag that goes over the paper bag to protect it from the rain and then there are these little cutouts that are already there for the handles and then underneath she just kind of gathered it together and taped it shut. So the first one I got is this one here. It is Mint Nico and basically the freebie is this cat backpack. I actually was looking for a backpack because um, they're really like in style right now I guess and um, I figured it would be good for my back because I'm always carrying around a lot of stuff and my shoulders and my neck have been hurting so I figured this would be a really inexpensive way to try out a style of a backpack and if I like the style I will invest in one. So this ebook was $18 or thereabouts and I like how the cat backpack has little ears. So this particular ebook comes in a box and on the back of the box it just shows you like the little details of the backpack. The next one I got is from Le Sport Sac and this is basically a catalog. It's their 2014 spring summer catalog and it comes with this little freebie here. It's I think a document or passport holder and then there's this picture over here of a model showing the relative size of the little freebie and this particular ebook was around $13. The last one I got is this really thick fashion magazine and it basically has the little gift inside in a box and there was a string that tied it all together but the cashier took it out for me and this is the little freebie. It's a little helmet lang um, reusable bag so I really really 
really was drawn to this one. And it comes in like a glossy box with Helmet Lang on it. So I thought that was really cool. And then I flipped through the magazine because they had one on display in the store. And I really liked like the fashions and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to keep the magazine as well. Emook my hubby picked up is this one here. And this is a magazine style book. And this is how mine was packaged with the string wrapped around it. And then you can see my hubby's gift is inside. There are snaps on the side and there's a little flap here. It's a little pocket with um, some Velcro securing it. And then it comes with a pen and then these pages for the notebook. So my hubby got this magazine. He's been really into the porter bags that they have here and he's actually looking for a backpack to purchase. So I saw this magazine and showed it to him because I really liked the folio that it came with and I figured he could use it and maybe I could use it as a clutch. <laughs> so he's actually opened his already and here it is. It's actually really decent quality. It's like a really thick material. I'm not sure what kind of material it is, but it's like thick and it's um stiff material and it looks really nice and it has like this um I don't know what this is called, but on the old school envelopes, like interoffice envelopes, they have this uh closure system and then you can open it up and put stuff inside, like your documents and such. And yeah, this is really nice like that. So it's around 5 o'clock now and we're a little bit hungry so we're just going to have a little snack while we watch Sumo. I bought this drink and I've been seeing it a lot and I've been really intrigued by it. I was really hesitant to buy this but my curiosity got the best of me so I'm going to give it a try. And this is salt and lychee. And then we're going to have these chips that we got in Mount Fuji and it looks like these might be like some udon or ramen flavor. And it's just got a picture of Mount Fuji on the front here. So I just had a sip of this and it's actually really good and really refreshing. There's like very little salt flavor. I can hardly detect any salt at all. And the lychee flavor is also really mild. So this is really light and refreshing. Right now. <laughs> 